right, today we're going to look at uh, Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team, which is a new standalone box set from Games Workshop. So Kill Team is a derivation of Warhammer 40,000 that allows you to play essentially a skirmish scale games of 40k using the base 40k rules with some minor tweaks. Uh, the concept isn't new. It's actually been around since about 2003 when White Dwarf released an article called Combat Patrol or 40k in 40 minutes, which is a really good description of the sort of goal of this rule set. The rules were very popular uh, and were eagerly adopted by the 40k community as a whole and when they drop them as they do so many other things that are amazing uh, <laughs> the community held on and continued to both utilize them as is and make uh, variations on them and sort of develop them on their own um, but in around 2013, uh, Kill Team was released as a digital product that was essentially a more or less similar version of the old Combat Patrol rules. And now in 2016, we have a full box set. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. Okay, first up, we've got minis. Many minis. Uh, we have uh, a full squad of 40k Space Marines with all of their variations. And you get a full squad of Tau, uh, Tau infantry. <laughs> uh, it's essentially like their, their strike team box with 10 guys and all of their accessories. You get two uh, very comprehensive guides to assembling all of those minis. Uh, and on the back side, well, at least of this one, uh, I think in the inside of the other one, uh, it's got the rules for, or the stats, I should say, the stats for the, the guys that you get. Um, it's worth noting that the, the Space Marines, it just gives you the tactical squad stats but for the tau it gives you both stats for uh the strike team and for the breacher team which you can create with the sprues that you get you get the rules which is the entire uh 40k rule set in miniature form and you get the kill team book which is essentially everything that you need aside from the rules to play Kill Team. From a value perspective, this is a $65 box set that gives you 23 minis and the rule book and uh, the Kill Team book. It's an amazing value. I mean, there's really no denying that. It's, it's at least worth, uh, in terms of individual components, about twice that. Um, but they've been doing that a lot recently. Uh, GW has actually been providing box sets that provide real value, and that's really cool. But for myself, uh, there's, there's a couple of reasons why I was excited about this. And one is that I've been kind of out of 40K as a game for a number of years, and that's primarily because I just don't have the time to play or to build an army for a game that requires as many miniatures as Warhammer 40,000 does, and I don't really have the time to play a game that takes as much time as a full game of Warhammer 40,000 does. And I actually played Combat Patrol back in the early days when it was first released in White Dwarf Magazine, and we had a great amount of fun with it in very small periods of time. Uh, it was really all about being able to play uh, 40K on a lunch break, which you could never really do. And somehow it really worked without doing any major changes to the rules themselves. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. But the other reason I'm excited about it, or was excited about it, I guess I'm still excited about it, is that it's really been a long time uh, that 
as a store owner, I felt like 40K had a good entry point. Uh, the, the standard way that one might get into 40K is to uh, buy one of the many box sets that include a rule book. But those box sets aren't cheap. You know, they're like $125, $150, $175. And then when the miniatures you get in there, you feel like, well, I can't really have a good experience until I buy more. Uh, and so to me, that seems like not a great point of entry. Good, they're good deals. There's interesting minis. They're um, fantastic for people who are already playing who can then just take those minis and add them to an existing army. But for somebody just getting in for the first time, it could be frustrating. It's like, oh, wow, I just spent, you know, $175 and I'm, it's going to be a while before I can have any fun with this. But with Kill Team, there's the possibility of I can get these, I can assemble these minis, I can start playing and have fun right away. And so that's really where my interest has been focused in terms of looking at this product and evaluating it. Um, for me, and I'll just get this out of the way, for me, this seems great. Um, I already am familiar with the game. I already have some minis left over from back when I used to play that I can apply to this. I kind of already know everything that I need to know in order to expand upon this if I need to. And get the most out of it so um so for me as a sort of a lapsed player perfectly fine but what about for a starter set well um there are some there are some issues with it as a starter but first let me say that i actually think this is probably the best product to get somebody started in warhammer 40,000. but even so there are some issues first is uh the rule book, I mean, it does give you the full rule book, which is great, but essentially what you're saying to somebody is learn this rule book, then unlearn the parts of it that <laughs> are appropriate to playing kill team, which uh, is not ideal for a new player. On the other hand, the changes aren't, aren't great, but it is sort of this weird two-step process. And if you had somebody who was familiar with 40K to begin with, well, then it's not really a problem because you're not going to learn the game with a rule book anyway. They're going to teach you. Uh, there's another product, and this is... This I find a little... Well, really problematic. And that is the minis that they give you. So uh, it's, you know... It, at first glance, 10 Tau, 10 Space Marines, I'm a noob, I don't know anything else. That sounds great. Actually, technically it's 12 Tau um, because you get, or is it 13? 13 Tau, because you get a couple of drones and a little missile pod thing. Uh, seems like that's probably pretty good. Well, not really. Um, the example squads that they give you to work with right off the bat. This is like, build these with the minis you got, which you can. Squad Stornis, 190 points. Strike Team Bright Conquest, 134 points. Well, that doesn't seem fair, and it's not. So, but you could probably just dump off one or two Space Marine models and have a fair fight. But, that means you're both going to be down to somewhere around 130 points to try and have that fair fight. And an actual game of Kill Team as presented is 200 point armies or warbands or squads, however you want to think of that. So in neither case do you have a full 200 points. So I feel like Kill Team was a great idea just doesn't quite reach its full potential. Uh, had they provided 200 point teams, or even better, or not even better, but at least two teams of equal value that would then go on to provide you a nice sort of taste of what the game is all about, 
very easy at that point to then expand on it and buy a few more things uh, to build your, your kill team up to a full 200 points. But they didn't do either of those things. And so I feel like this was a really great idea. It's still good. It's still a good value. I still think that this is probably the best starter set for Warhammer 40,000 at the moment, but it does not reach its full potential. And I'm, for that reason, I'm a little disappointed. But, you know, having said all that, uh, I still think it's pretty awesome. If you want to know more about how Kill Team plays and what makes it, if you've never heard of Kill Team before, the, the, the basic structure is this. Instead of forming your guys up into individual squads that all work together, all of your, all of the individual models in your kill team act independently of one another. So they can all move, you know, this guy moves and that guy moves and they can all separate and do whatever it is they need to do. And uh, the other big change, well, there's a number of other changes to how you make up your force and things like you can't have anybody with a two plus save. Um, vehicles can't have more than 33 total armor. Um, vehicles can have no more than three hull points um, and no non-vehicle, like no infantry model can have more than three wound points. Things like that. And so it just makes it easier to do these sort of small scale tactical operations. Uh, the, the Kill Team book itself also comes with a number of scenarios that look really fun, but really I think one of the, the best aspects of it is that it, it's not just the same models that you would have in your 40K group. Uh, you also have a leader who gets a special ability, not something that exists within the 40K game. Uh, and then up to three specialists. And these are guys that get their own like cool um, special abilities. For example, you might have uh, Executioner. This model rerolls all failed to wound rolls against targets with a wounds characteristic of two or more. Um, and there's a lot of things like that where it's trying to kind of even the odds a little bit. So your, your buddy took some kind of big guys and all of your, your forces are more sort of standard infantry. You might have a few guys that can help sort of tip, tip the balance. But then in addition to those special rules, like if you take a combat specialist, let's say, and he has the death blow ability. If a target suffers an unsaved wound from a close combat attack made by this model, the target is reduced to zero wounds and is removed as a casualty. Okay, that's a cool special ability, but he's a combat specialist, so he can also take one of the following, and these are standard uh, 40k um, special abilities. Counterattack, Furious Charge, Hammer of Wrath, Hatred, or Rage. So uh, that means that one guy with death blow might have rage while another one might have hatred. So there's even going to be some variation within, uh, e even if you take, if you had two guys in two different groups, because you're not going to have two guys in the same group with the same ability, but two guys in two different groups with the same ability, uh, will still end up being fairly different from one another or can be anyway. Uh, so personally very excited to kind of jump back into 40K through Kill Team. Um, and as a game store owner, still reasonably pleased with the idea. It'd be very easy for me to sell this to somebody and then sort of point them in the right direction for how they might want to expand on this. You know, for example, uh, if they're gonna focus on the Space Marines, they're gonna want the Space Marine Codex, um, and they, they might want to buy you know, like a, a team of bikes or maybe a dreadnought or something else. Something else that they can add some points to their kill team to bring it up to the full 200 points. Same thing for the Tau. You're gonna want the Tau Codex. Uh, here are some other things that you can add to your Tau to make it um, a full 200 points. And then after that, if they're playing it and they've painted these guys and really enjoying it, like, hey, here's how you can expand on this even more with an eye towards 
uh, building a full 40K force. So that's it. You know, I honestly wasn't uh, planning to review this today, but I was so excited about the product in general and its release that I had to share my thoughts. So I hope you found this interesting and useful, and thank you for watching. I will talk to you all later. Bye. Yeah.